Hey, Dark Star Quacks on YouTube. All right, well, just last night I got home at 12. So, uh, let's see. What I noticed in this tank was that some of my crypts are melting still. Oh yeah, and then this bulb is sprouting new leaves. Um, my albino angelfish is eating like crazy now. It looks almost the same size as the other angelfish, this guy. So that's good. Um, I was really kind of hoping to get rid of the 10 gallon and put all these fish um, in the 30 temporarily. Um, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Um, I guess maybe it works out better that way because I really don't want to put them on 30, so I decided I'll come up with another plan. Um, just haven't figured out what yet. Might just, uh, set up a temporary tank for them, put them in there, put the sponge filter in there, the heater and all that. Um, right, let me show you guys. Is there a gallon? Um, the 30 gallon, there's not much that's happening here except for the fact that the crypts are melting, this one leaf is melting, and that leaf is melting, um, uh, yeah, I believe that's it, I mean, this tank, there's no algae, and, uh, I've officially decided that I'm going to get a timer for my 55 gallon because, well, I got home. It's it had algae all over the place. Scrubbed most of it. I have to do a water change today or tomorrow. And scrub the rest of the algae. So. And then, uh. Size or the 20 high that I might be setting up might not be set, getting set up. Um, I just found a found out that a 20 extra high, the dimensions I kind of like, or a 25 gallon as the dimensions and other dimensions that I like, both a little more taller. Um, might just go with the extra the 20 extra high because it's 24 inches tall and 20 inches long. So. We'll see what I do. I haven't quite made up my mind. But yeah. Oh, um, and then let's see what else. Oh yeah, let me show you my bettas. Figure out a name for him. Romeo. I like the name. Reminds me. It looks like a good name for him because the differences between this betta and this betta. Romeo is always always looking at me, looking for me. Uh, every time he wants food, he's going berserk. Um, he's got a big bubble nest. Not huge, but he's getting one going. And this one's got a smaller bubble nest. So, this one's always just kind of swimming around. This one, he's always looking for food. Romeo is always looking for food, but, um, yeah, so... Hoping to get one of my bettas in another tank. I think this one will just stay in this little tank. He seems to enjoy himself. Romeo, I think, will get a bigger tank. It says Lane Bowl. But, uh, show you guys the 55 when I'm all done cleaning it and stuff because it's kind of looking really bad right now. So, now I'm going to go to Lansing today. Um, I was originally hoping to get rid of the two tens and five gallons that I just shut down, but the guy can't, so probably next week. That really sucks because I kind of foiled my plans, but oh well. Um, so that's pretty much it. 
uh, getting some plants from uh, someone. I don't know when. I will probably send them hopefully this week. Uh, so, yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, the baby tears in the 10 gallon did not make it when I got home. They were all dead and just look horrible. Uh, so that's why they're not there anymore. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Keep you guys updated. Alright. Peace.